Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. It's DIY time and today we're going to be making this folding surprise card for mom to tell her how much we love her. So let's get started. To create this card, you just need a regular piece of paper and what I have today is just your basic 8.5 by 11 copy paper. So now that you have your paper, let's go ahead and the first thing you need to do is just fold it in half. So just make sure your corners are all lined and just press down right in the center. From there, I'm going to take this flap right here and fold it right back down to this crease I've made. So we basically just want to create four sections in this um, card. So we fold it down, we have this part right here. And if you like, you can fold this one as well, but it's optional. So if you want to fold this part, just flip it over and fold it down right back to the center. And just like that, you've created your card. So just flatten everything down and basically um, you're going to be drawing right here as your front and you open it up to reveal the surprise inside. Now that you have your paper folded, let's go ahead and fold it back up right here so that this flap pulls out from the bottom. From there, just make sure you have a piece of paper underneath so you don't mark up your table and very important to have another piece of paper underneath this flap so that if you're using a Sharpie or a marker, it won't go through. Okay, so then from there, let's work on the word mom. And I'll start in the center. I'm going to be drawing a heart for the O. So I'll just say about right here. So just make sure you know this is your center. So I'll say about right here will be my center for this part. I would say about right here. And I'll give myself another point down here. This way it's just easier for me to know where I'm going. I'm going to have two points. And I'll go ahead and start my heart. So I'm going to go through, come back down, and same thing on the other side. And down. There. And then from there, I'm going to come in the center, right here and here, and draw another heart. and fill up the gap there. Then from there, we can go ahead and work on our M. So I'll put it right next to this heart and I'm going to go at a slight angle. So the most important thing for this to work is that the bottoms need to be kind of like the bottoms of a vase. So I was trying to figure out how to do that. So hopefully uh, you like this M that I'm creating. So I'm gonna go across and come down the tops you can draw however you like so then right here we want to make sure we're going to angle it down i uh, just want to make sure i'm about the same level there then from there you can come right across nice and straight and we're going to angle it up right to that point to the center right there and then come right back down and once again, everything's at this angle because you want to make it look like the bottoms of a vase or pot there. So that's why this M looks like that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So come down and just try your best to make sure it's about the same level. And then once again, go right across and you just want to center as much as possible. So say about right here, I know I'm going to end about right there. So about right here is where I'll end. And once again, angle it. And I really hope you have fun with this. This is just supposed to be, nothing has to be exact at all. Just go for it and have fun. <laughs> Okay, so you see my M's are totally different, but kind of the same, right? So like I said, the main goal is to have this pot shape right here at the bottom. And now that we have the word mom, if you like, you can also write I love you at the top. So if you want to do that, I'll start with the word love right over the heart. So I'll say about right here. And I'll put my 
just because I want to make this as even as possible. I'm going to put the E over here and then I know I have O and V. That way I just make it a little bit easier for me to figure it, make it more even. Okay, and then the word I right about here. I is going to be nice and wide. Because I have to balance it out with the word you, right? So go right here. And I'll make the U thinner. There. Something like that. I love you, mom, right? Okay, so then from there we can finally open it. So now that you're opening it, um, let's work on the bottom first. Well, you know what? Actually, you can work on the top. We're just going to finish the word mom right here. And it's going to be, um, let's see here. So practically the same thing, but not as long, not as tall as the bottom. But we're just going to do the same thing and write the word mom. Okay, so once again, just quickly write Go up, zigzag, and down. Up, zigzag. And when you go up, I almost forgot to tell you, just make sure you don't go past that line. I almost did. <laughs> okay, so now we have the word mom again. And then let's work on the bottom. So the bottom, let's start with the heart first. So I'm just going to go up nice and high. I just want to leave enough little space right here at the top for some words. But um, so let's go up nice and high. Let's say about right here would be my center for my heart. And you know what? I forgot. I need to draw the pots first before I draw the hearts because they're in the foreground. OK, so let's start with our pots. And I'm just going to put one right there. Need this one. Well, let's go this one. There. And I'm staggering them. So sometimes maybe some is higher, lower. Just to change it up. There. So this one would be lower. And higher. There. So now we have our pots for our flowers. Then we can go ahead and draw our heart. So I'm going to go nice and high. Coming back down. And same thing here. There. And same thing in here. there. <laughs> Wobbly heart. And then that is the main things that we want to draw. And um, now to fill it in um, all these flowers. So it's all up to you. But before I do that, I forgot. Let me decorate each of my pots with a heart right here. I don't think you can have enough hearts for your mom, right? So right here. And whatever you do, just make sure you don't go past this line. Okay, so then our flowers, and I'm going to quickly just draw a bunch of very simple flowers. Um, it's all up to you. This is just meant to inspire you, and I hope it does. One, so maybe like one here. And a nice tall one up here since we have some space up here. And let's see, maybe one that's going this way. Ah! <laughs> there. <laughs> I almost got myself into trouble there. Five and one more. Maybe we'll change this one up and make one of these kind of flowers. 
So as you can see, I am just very free with this and just having fun and just drawing without caring too much for everything to be exact. Okay, so then from there, we're just going to bring in these stems to wherever your flowers are. And you can come in here and add some leaves. So we can add some green. So this one will have a stem going this way. Down this way and one more. There. Okay, so we've decorated our pots and we've filled them with flowers for mom. And the last thing we need to do is just write a message for mom. So you can say, You are the best, you are amazing, um, you're so wonderful, whatever you want to write. But I'm just going to make it nice and simple and just write, You are amazing, right here in this space. So I'll just try my best to um, just write it around. So you, oh boy, you are okay so amazing i need to finish it about right here <laughs> let's see if i can do that did we do it yay not too bad right exclamation mark and i'll just come in here really quickly and spruce it up to make some parts a little bit thicker. So all my downward strokes, I'll make it thicker. And here's where if you have too much space in one side or anything like that, you can go ahead and just fix it up. There, so nice, much better, right? Once you've uh, thickened up everything, it looks a little bit fancier. <laughs> then you go make it lower or however you need to adjust it. So that is pretty much it for the drawing part. And now I'm just going to come in here really quickly. So some Crayola markers and bring it to life.
So they're finally all done. So as you can see, I made this kind of like a rainbowish thing so that I could make these pots different color. But if you don't want to do that, then you can just make them all the same color. It's really up to you. And then like I said, I really hope this inspires you. So I love you, mom, right? So let's fold this back up. And this is what you would give to your mom. And you say, I love you, mom. And she opens it up and you go, you are amazing. <laughs> and you have all these flowers for her. So I really hope you love this uh, folding surprise card for Mother's Day and that I've inspired you to draw it too and have fun most of all. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw Soup Cute videos.